गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मैसे मंजुनाथ वी अशन पेपर डिपार्टमेंट आफ कंप्यूटर सैंस सो टूडे सेशन फर् डिस्कस अब दि जवा प्रोग्रामिंग सब्जेक्ट सो दिस सब्जेक्ट इज बिलांग्स टू दि बी एस सी कंप्यूटर सैंस फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर दिस सब्जेक्ट एज पर् दि गुलबर्ग यूनिवर्सीटी कलबुर्गी सो इन दिस सेशन वर् डिस्कस अब दि अरेस् एंड टाइप्स आफ दि अरेस् In the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction of variables, and declaration of variables, and giving values to the variables, and types of the variables. These are discussed in the previous session. So, what is the objective of the? This subject means you have to study about the the programming concept of Java. This is the objective of the one of the Java programming subject. So, in this session, so firstly you have to study about the introduction of the arrays. अरे अंदर अदेशन मुखातर कलते हैं अरे इज ए ग्रूप आफ कंटिन्यूअस् आर् रिटेड डाटा ईटम्स दट आर् शेर ए काम नेम दट इस कलते अरे सो अरे अंतर वो ग्रूप आफ ईटम्स मत रिटेड डाटा ईटम्स अदेमत के शेर द काम नेम अदी अरे अंत करती पर्टिक्युर व्याल्यू इज इंडिकेटेड बै रईटिंग ए नंबर काल इंडेक्स नंबर आर् सब्सक्रिप्ट इन बैरकट्स आफ्टर द अरे नेम अंत पर्टिक्युर व्याल्यू ऐन अद इंडिकेट मे इंडिकेट दि रईटिंग द नंबर इस पाला इंडेक्स नंबर अंत ना करी आम सब्सक्रिप्ट बरती अदेमेंट विन द ब्राकेट आफ्टर द अरे नेम सो अद ना ट्रैटिंग इन द ब्राकेट आफ्टर द अरे नेम फार एक्सापल डिफैन एंड अरे नेम सैलरी टू रिप्रेसेंट ए सैट आफ सैलरी आफ ग्रूप आफ् एंप्ल ग्रूप आफ् एंप्ल सैलरी ना बरियोदारे ऐसे सैलरी You are written in the brackets ten. So I means above example represent the salary of the tenth employee. That our bracket earlier more than the tenth and the more than that represent the salary of the tenth employee. That tenth employee is the salary. That represent more than that. That means here you have written the subscript. So that can be written the subscript can be written in the brackets after the array name. Array name is the salary, but you have written the subscript value that is called ten. So then represent the the salary of the tenth employee. The complete set of the values is referred to as an array. Then the individual values are called elements. The complete set of the values in the array is called an array. The individual values are called the elements. The individual values in the array are elements. So next one is creating an array. How to create an array? The creation of an array involves three steps. So you have to create the array. You have to follow the three steps. First step is declaring the array. Second one is creating a memory locations. Next, third one is the putting values into the memory location. So these are the steps you have to follow when you are creating an array. So what is the first step? Declaration of the array. Array in Java may be declared in two forms. So array in Java दली बंदरे array ने आता रहना declare मरता है. Two forms चलना declare मरता है. First form is form one. Array name again one of the two square brackets and then semicolon. Second form Type square bracket array name, then semicolon. So in this way, you have to declare the array in the Java. For example, int number square bracket, next semicolon. The float average square brackets semicolon. Int square bracket counter semicolon. So these are the example when you are declaring the array in the Java. Int is integer data type. Number is the array name. Then again the subscript means you do the square bracket the semicolon. Second example, the floating data type, floating point data type. Average is the array name. Then again, square bracket, then semicolon. Next, integer data type. Then is the second form. Form to type will be the array. Integer data type, then square bracket, then counter is the array name, then semicolon. So in this way, you have to write the array in the uh, array in the Java. Next, the creation of arrays. Java allows us to create arrays using a new operator only, as shown below. And then now Java only, or the one arrays are created. You have to use the one of the new operator. And the one operator is used. Now, what is the new operator is used? So, the one of the form of the syntax is used. Array name equal to new type in bracket. You have to write the size, then semicolon. So, this is one of the syntax or general forms when we are creating the array. For example, a number equal to new. Then int in bracket five, then semicolon. 
second one average equals to new float and bracket 10 then semicolon so these are the example number is the array name then uh, assignment statement is equal sign then new operator then integer data type then in the size you have to read in the 5 again in the uh, second example i average is the array name then equal sign then new then type is the float then again you have to bracket, bracket you have to read in the 10 so these are the creating the uh, creation of the arrays now it is very good next insulation of arrays yathana arrays na insulate madidivi the final step is to put the values into the arrays are created. This process is known as insulation. So now arrays now, now you have to put the values into the arrays. Whenever array can be created, you have to put the values into the array. Now insulation of the arrays into the arrays. The process is known as the insulation of the arrays. The array subscripts are as follows. 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 The array name in by subscript then equals to value then semicolon either are now you have the insulation of array now very work at the end of the array name very work next to the subscript then value very work then equal sign then the value for example number then bracket is 0 then equals to 36 number 1 number 1 in bracket then equal to 40 up to number bracket 3 then equals to 19 either on the example of the other number is array name subscript is 0 then equal sign then 36 is the value second one is number is the array name one is the subscript then equal sign then 40 so then number then array name then th three is the subscript then equal sign then 19 is the value in this way you have to insulate the arrays next now types of arrays there are two types of arrays one is one dimensional arrays second is two dimensional arrays so what is one dimensional array means a list of items can be given one variable name using only one subscript and such variable is called as single subscripted variable or an one dimensional array and the current the list of items can be given only one variable and one day one variable name put it and only one subscript is what it is and the one variable now make it a single subscript variable of the one dimensional array and the now would have written example for the array to represent a set of five numbers say 35, 40, 20, 57, 19 by an array variable variable number then we say create the variable number as follows so now one dimensional array will be the array will be 5 numbers 35, 40, 20, 57, 19 so either now will be the array one dimensional array will be the array now will be the array int number subscript equals to sign then new int then again you have to return there Subscripted as the 5 because of the 5 number, then you have to as 5. So, integer data type number is array, na, array name, then subscripted, then equals to sign, then new operator, then integer data type, then again you have to the subscripted as 5 because of the 5 numbers. The values of the array elements can be assigned as follows. Atharma assign more these are one of the 5 numbers, then you have to assign the, the values to the, the array. So, again, you know, number again the 0. They are subscripted then equals to 5 number 1 number then 1 is subscripted then equals to 40 number then subscripted 2 then equals to 20 number array name then 3 is subscripted then equals to 57 the value then number array name then subscripted value is 4 then equals to value is the 19 in this way you have to return the values to the, the array elements can be assigned so then now the two dimensional arrays. What is the two dimensional arrays means? A list of items can be given to one variable name using two or more subscripted and such variable is called as two or more subscripted variable or two dimensional array. Now the list of items here is but other one day variable is there, one day variable name use more, but alay more two or more subscripted and use more than the variable in the way. Two or more subscripted variable at all, two dimensional array and the no one other array. In Java, two dimensional array data stored in row and columns and we can access the record using the both the row index and column index now two dimensional array dali em martindara na data na store martindara early row matte column alli so adike em martindara you can access the record on the data record na access madogara em martindara you have to use the both row index and column index anta na idu use martindi so yathar na two dimensional array create martindara you just follow here anta here int my array again subscript there are two empty subscripted then semicolon for example, my array equals to new int again 
subscripted 3 and subscripted the 4. So, this is the one of the two dimensional arrays. So, integer is the data type, my array is the array name, then two empty subscriptions. Therefore, we call it the two dimensional array. But also written as so, uh, both the above two statements can be written as only one single statement that is called as int my array again empty so two subscripted then equals to new int then three subscripted and four subscripted. So, int is the integer data type my array is the array name then empty two subscripted then equals to new operator then integer two uh, subscripted one is the three and another one is the four. For example, here int table two and 3 are 2 subscripted, then values are written as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Again, you close the brace, then semicolon. R is also written as int table empty 2 subscripted equals to again uh, open uh, brace, then open brace 0, 0, 0, uh, then close the brace, then again open the brace, then 1, 1, 1, then close the brace, and finally you have to close the brace, then semicolon. So here, integer is data type, table is the array name, then uh, two, 2 and 3 are the 2 subscripted. The first one is two dimensional array, and uh, it's a two dimensional array. Then you have to do two sub one is two row, uh, row wise, again column wise. So then uh, values are 0, 0, 0, again 1, 1, 1. See, these are the values of the arrays. The second example, again you have to written as integer is data type, table is the array name. Then again the two empty subscripted. Then again values are 0, 0, 0, again 1, 1, 1. See, these are the, the one of the two dimensional arrays examples. So in this session we are discussing about the introduction of an array, the creating of an array, then types of array. So I discussed in, the, in this section. So we will discuss the more about the next session. So thank you.